Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about variables in science experiments. Our essential question is what makes an experiment fair? So in science experiments we have variables, things that we change, and constants or controls, things that we don't change. Both of these are essential in creating a good scientific experiment and ensuring that your results are fair. So scientific experiments use three different things. We have independent variables, dependent variables, and constants. Our independent variable is the factor that we change. Uh, it's what we are changing to see if it has an effect on something. The dependent variable is the factor which we measure in the end of the experiment. And our constants are all the other factors that have to stay the same in an experiment. One trick that I use to help me remember independent and dependent variable is mix for independent variable. Our independent variable is manipulated, so we're changing it. It's independent, and in a graph it's going to go on the x-axis. Whereas our dependent variable is dry, it's dependent, it's responding to the change that we've made from our independent variable, and we'll graph it on the y-axis. And then our constants, again, are just those things that stay the same. So here's an example. Um, if a student wanted to determine whether feeder color had an effect, he might suggest if I put up a red, a blue, and a green feeder, birds will visit the green feeder more. That's going to be his hypothesis. So he's thinking the birds are going to come over here and visit this one more. Um, perhaps he speculates that because the green feeder is the most camouflaged or natural color. So we're imagining we want to see how color affects our bird feeders. Our constants and variables. In this experiment, our independent variable is going to be the factor that we change, the one that's changed by the person doing the experiment. So that's going to be here if it's red, blue, or green, because we're deciding the color of the bird feeder. Our dependent variable is going to be the amount of seed that's eaten. It's responding to that change. And our constants are going to have to be everything else. For example, location of the feeder, the kind of feeder that we use, putting all the feeders in the same place. So all of that needs to be constant so we can determine if it really is the color here of the feeders that's affecting the change or something else. <clears throat> here is our experimental de design. Our constants are going to be, again, location, the kinds of seed, and the types of feeders. Our independent variables are the color of the feeders. And the dependent variable for each one of these things, what we're going to measure in the end, is the amount of seed that gets eaten. If we hold everything besides that independent variable as a constant, then and only then can we say that our experiment is fair. Only the independent variable can change. Why is it so important to only change the independent variable? Please enter your answer now. So if we don't change only the independent variable, our dependent variable can respond to other changes. So we won't be sure if it was actually the independent variable that's causing the change or something else. Let's, let's use this example of this little dog right here. Um, Sally has this dog. The dog's name is Bob. Sally thinks that when Bob is outside, Bob scares away all the birds, so there'll be less birds in her backyard when Bob is out than there would be when Bob is not outside. So that's Sally's hypothesis. She's going to use Bob here as the independent variable and count the number of birds that are outside as her dependent variable. When Sally sets up her experiment, she's going to let the dog outside for five days for one hour, and she's going to count all the birds that she sees in her backyard. The next five days, she's going to keep the dog inside for an hour and count all the birds that she sees outside in her backyard. Sounds pretty, pretty solid experiment, right? So Sally's going to collect her data. When she collects her data, she notices that there's actually more birds outside when Bob's out than there are when Bob's not outside. Are you surprised by Sally's results? What Sally didn't think of was the other things that might affect the birds being outside. She started thinking, and she thought, well, maybe when I let Bob out those first five days, it was really sunny, and the birds like sun. And then the second five days, it was kind of rainy and foggy. So maybe it was the weather that affected the birds and not Bob. Even though she found a change, how will she know if it was the dog that caused the effect? 
Perhaps it was the weather. Can you suggest any improvements to Sally's experiment? Let's see if you can determine if these experiments are fair or not. Sam wants to know if birds prefer one color feeder to another. He makes three feeders out of two liter bottles and paints one red, one blue, and one green. He fills the feeders with the same amount of sunflower seed and plans to keep the feeders out for one week before measuring how much seed is eaten out of each. On Tuesday, he puts each of the feeders in his backyard. The red feeder in a large dead tree, the blue feeder he sits on his doghouse, and the green one he puts in a small bushy tree. Is Sam's experiment fair? No, it's not fair since the locations of the feeders are very different. The location would all need to be constant. Is Maria's experiment fair? Maria wants to know if birds prefer one color feeder to another. She makes three feeders out of two liter bottles and paints one red, one blue, and one green. She fills each of the three feeders with the same amount of mixed bird seed and plans to keep the feeders out for 10 days before measuring how much seed is eaten from each feeder. She puts each of the feeders in the school courtyard in a small tree, hanging each at the same height. Does Maria's experiment seem fair? Yes. Maria's is fair because she only changed the feeder color. The feeders were all placed in the same area, at the same height, the same amount of time, with the same seed. Is Jessie's experiment fair? Jessie wants to know if birds prefer one color feeder to another. She makes three feeders out of two liter bottles and paints one red, one blue, and one green. She fills each of the feeders with sunflower seed. She plans to lead each feeder out for two days and then measure the amount of seed that the birds ate. She has one hook in her backyard and she plans to hang each of the feeders on. She puts the red feeder out on Tuesday and measures the seed two days later. The green feeder doesn't go out until Saturday since it's very snowy, but she was able to measure the seed two days later. The weather turned rainy, but she needs to finish her experiment, so the blue feeder goes out on Monday and is measured two days later. Is Jessie's experiment fair? No, it's not fair because the feeders aren't out at the same time, and we know that weather has quite was quite different at each time. So perhaps the number and kind of birds that visited during the weeks were different due to the weather. What do you think? Let's see if you can identify the variables in this experiment. Terry loves birds and wants to see as many as she can in her yard. She wants to know whether she is wasting money buying this expensive bird seed when a cheaper brand just arrived at her local store. She wonders, will the expensive seed attract more birds in her backyard? How would you advise her to find out if the expensive seed is better? Let's look at our experimental de design. Please identify the independent variable, dependent variable, and constants. Our independent variable is going to be the kind of seed that uh, Terry buys, expensive or cheap. The dependent variable, which is the responding variable, is going to be the number and perhaps kinds of birds that visit. Her constants is everything else that needs to be kept the same. Location of the feeders, the type of feeders, the way she measures the amount of seed, and the way she counts the birds. Remember, when you're planning your experiments, you'll need to identify your variables, the independent variables, your dependent variables, and your constants, and ensure that your scientific experiments are always fair. Thanks for watching!